Toxocariasis is an infectious disease caused by the larvae of the dog roundworm, Toxocara canis, or the cat roundworm, Toxocara catti. These parasite worms can reach a length of 10 to 15 centimeters. Normally, Toxocara larvae infect cats and dogs. They enter their body when they are ingested, either by eating infected animals or soil, or by feeding on breast milk from an infected bitch. After ingestion, the Toxocara eggs travel down the digestive system until they reach the small intestine. There, they hatch and soon after, they start to eat themselves away through the intestine wall. When they succeed, they enter the bloodstream of their hosts, which will transport them to all parts of the body. However, for some unknown reason, the larvae prefer the lungs. Here, they are cuffed up and swallowed again. After they reach the intestine again, the larvae mature and start to mate. The 200,000 eggs, which can be laid in just a day, then follow the conventional route and exit the host via their excretions. Humans and other animals, such as earthworms and rodents, are paratenic hosts. The larvae enter by accident and can't mature in their bodies, so only the first steps of infection will occur, in which the larvae eat their way through the intestine wall and enter the circulatory system. Toxocariasis manifests itself in three main forms. The first and most common form is VLM or visceral larva migrants. It is caused by high loads of larvae migrating through the body. These migrations can cause inflammation and damage to internal organs, such as the liver or the heart. However, even inflammation of the nervous system, epilepsy and death have been reported as results of VLM. The second form is covered toxocariasis. This is basically a milder form of VLM. The third and rarest form is OLM, or ocular larva migrants. In this case, Due to the low amount of larvae, the immune system doesn't react good enough and the larvae reach the eyes. This may result in permanent blindness. Symptoms depend on the type and location of the infection, as well as the performance of the patient's immune system. Most of the times, the disease is asymptomatic and resolves itself within days. The symptoms of covered toxocariasis somewhat resemble those of a cold. Coughing, abdominal pain, irritability, fever, and headaches. VLM is a more severe form of covered toxocariasis and therefore the symptoms may also include anorexia, vomiting, fatigue and asthma. Sometimes the migration tracks of the larvae can be seen. However, in both cases the symptoms are vague and not good enough for making diagnosis. Symptoms of OLM include loss of sight, a white pupil and a red eye. The only good way of diagnosing toxocariasis is taking a tissue biopsy in which larvae are present. However, since this is not very efficient and not always possible, ELISA testing is the best option. Toxocara infections usually resolve within weeks. If a patient is diagnosed with severe VLM or OLM, corticosteroids are given to calm down the immune response. Since 88% of the soil is infected with Toxocara eggs and only 100 larvae are needed to cause the disease, prevention is the best way. This can be done by washing your hands regularly and cleaning and deworming your pets. The first case of infection with T. catti was reported in 1824. From that moment on there have been only 24 reported cases of TKT infection, making it a relatively rare disease. The main focus of attention goes to T. canis. It was identified in dogs in the 18th century but was not studied until 1908, when G. H. F. Newtall and C. Strickland examined dogs in Cambridge. 
England, finding 17 out of 24 infested with the parasite. The first human cases of T. canis infection were described by Wilder in 1950. In 1952, the connection between toxocariasis and dogs was established. One of the biggest breakthroughs in understanding toxocariasis was made by G.F.A. Strand in 1958. He worked out the TCAN's life cycle and outlined the mechanism of transmission. Toxocariasis is more prevalent in developing countries, but can be considerable in first world countries as well. In Bali, St. Lucia, Nepal and other countries, over 50% suffers from toxocariasis. Approximately 10,000 clinical cases are seen a year in the US, with 10% being OLM. Permanent vision loss occurs in 700 of these cases. Fiscal larva migrants seem to affect children aged 1 to 4 more often, while ocular larva migrants more frequently affect children aged 7 to 8. Young children are at the greatest risk of infection because they play outside and tend to place contaminated objects and dirt in their mouths. Dog ownership is another known risk factor for transmission and people who live in a place where there is less hygiene also are, are at a greater risk.